Hello guys, uh, welcome once again to Fred uh, LFC channel. Uh, today I want us to look at some of the 10 home remedies for treating a UTI. UTI stands for urinary tract infection and uh, it's one of the common uh, conditions out there. Uh, and it's important to note that UTI, urinary tract infection, affects both male and female. And so, uh, apart from the, the traditional, uh, usual Western kind of medicine that we usually prescribe to patients that come with UTI, today I want us to look at uh, some home, natural home remedies can, can, that can also help you fight or combat uh, your urinary tract infection. Now, you might have, uh, have had the infection in the past already, and uh, you might actually right now be experiencing uh, the, those excruci excruciating sense of symptoms of uh, UTI. Or you might be knowing a friend, uh, you know, or a loved one that is, is suffering from the shame. Now I believe that this video is going to empower you and give you enough value and you can be able to help yourself or even uh, your loved one or a friend out there, okay? Now, uh, just a brief summary. Uh, the urinary tract uh, usually consists of the bladder, uh, it consists of the kidneys, the urethras, and the ureters, uh, which process and expel urine uh, from the body. Now, uh, a urinary tract infection can cause pain, and a need to urinate uh, I mean, frequently, okay? That urge of frequent urination, in addition to the pain that comes with every, I mean, with the passing of urine. Uh, these are some of the major sense of symptoms. And it can also lead to severe complications in some cases, uh, including kidney damage and also uh, sepsis, okay? And so, uh, especially for, you know, many people who tend to have uh, recurring episodes of urinary tract infection. Antibiotics uh, for years now has been used as uh, the common treatment for such, for urinary tract infection, but there are concerns about uh, overuse, you know, leading to antibiotic resistance, okay? And so for this reason, experts have been considering some uh, alternative routes, and one of the most um, explored and researched uh, avenue uh, in as far as treating urinary tract infection is concerned is uh, uh, the available uh, natural home remedies uh, that will also be able to help in supporting the treatment uh, for these types of uh, urinary tract infections. Now before using the home remedies that you're going to look at shortly, it is essential to seek uh, medical advice, make sure you sit with a doctor and get to, you know, suggest and discuss with them uh, on some of these uh, natural home remedies for uh, combating UTI. And, uh, you know, because uh, incorrect treatment can lead to some severe or even life-threatening uh, complications. So it's very important, guys, you get to discuss with your doctor before you embark on this journey. Now, uh, one of the uh, home natural remedies for treating UTI, uh, we're going to look at drinking fluids as number one drinking fluids, in other words, rehydrating. Now, our studies have suggested that those who increase their daily water consumption from uh, less than 1.5 liters of water to uh, somewhere about 2.2 liters a day may have fewer episodes uh, of urinary tract infection than before, okay? So it's important to work on our rehydration, guys. Make sure that you're able to take the daily normal intake that is recommended, all right? And current guidelines are not that for those who are uh, those with limited water intake, uh, remember drinking more may be very, very beneficial beneficial and helpful to your system okay now our experts recommend drinking about six to eight ounces uh, glasses of water in a day and that's the recommended uh, you know portion but people can check with their doctors on how much uh, they need especially uh, those of you with uh, some chronic and you know some uh, I mean chronic conditions such as CKDs and all that because uh, sometimes you may have to limit your water intake for some reason, okay? So uh, always get uh, a heads up or a go ahead or an approval from your doctor before you, you embark on some of these natural uh, methods, okay? So apart from rehydrating and drinking fluids, number two you're going to talk about, uh, I mean do not hold your pee, okay? do not hold your pee. Now one of the symptoms of urinary tract infection is pain uh, that comes with uh, urinating and for this reason it can be tempting to avoid using the bathroom right because of the pain that comes with experience. So however experts advise uh, people to urinate uh, as you know and when they need uh, or every two uh, to three hours if I'm not wrong and remember holding urine uh, in may as well cause 
uh, bacteria, the bacteria that is causing the UTI to even multiply uh, more and more and more. Okay, and the more they multiply, you know, the more the the, the, the symptoms and you know uh, the discomfort that comes with it. Now, a person with a, a UTI may also avoid going to the bathroom because there is often no urine to release. Okay, uh, just the urge. I mean, you just went to the bathroom a few minutes ago and you feel like emptying, avoiding uh, once again. Uh, most of these times, there's really nothing left in the bladder. But uh, when you get to the toilet, you, you feel like you want to pee, but really there's nothing that comes out. Okay, so uh, it's still okay. Now, uh, drinking plenty of fluids, uh, as we talked about earlier, may also help easing the discomfort of urination. Uh, it can also dilute that urine, okay, and makes it much easier and even comfortable to pee. Now, uh, number three, we're going to look at applying heat. Uh, apply heat, okay. Now, a UT UTI can cause pain uh, in the pelvic, uh, that's the lower abdominal region, okay, and. Uh, Applying a heat pad to the bladder or the pubic area can help in relieving the pain and discomfort, at least temporarily. Okay, now for safety, uh, you need to note this, never apply heat directly on your skin. There's got to be something to break that direct contact, okay? You could use a piece of cloth and uh, uh, you should also note that you should ensure that the heat is moderate uh, to prevent uh, getting burns, okay? You don't want to have it directly from, I mean, from fire, I mean, from uh, when it's already boiling hot and you apply it directly or put it directly uh, on, on your body, on your skin. Even though there may be some sort of like uh, something in between but the water is still very hot and can give you burns okay and sometimes accidents can happen you know, all right you might also need to note that uh, you should apply for short periods uh, only uh, be keen on the time and the duration on which you apply I mean the hot compression okay I uh, don't let there uh, don't leave it for a longer time it will hurt you all right now uh, so uh, we talked about applying heat to help ease in the discomfort. And then number four, we're talking about uh, clothing. Let's look at the type of clothing that you might have to, I mean, uh, what kind of clothing is good for you, uh, the best ones for you. Now, loose and fitting clothing can prevent moisture from accumulating, uh, especially in the pelvic region, the pelvic area. Now, this may help in stopping the infection from getting even worse, all right? Now, to maximize comfort and reduce perspiration, uh, you need to note the following. Number one, you need to avoid tight clothing. Number two, you need to use cotton underwear and avoid synthetic fabrics. You also need to uh, keep the pubic area clean and dry at all times, okay? Good. Uh, now, uh, remember, these actions may help prevent uh, the growth of the bacteria and also the recurrent uh, infections, uh, UTI infections that come with it. It can easily help in carrying that cycle. Now, number five, I want us to look at diet. Uh, remember, we are looking at some of the home natural remedies. I mean, things that you can do at home that will help you in fighting or mitigating the signs and symptoms of urinary tract infections. Number five, we are looking at diet. And remember, dietary factors may help in managing and preventing a urinary tract uh, urinary tract infections. Uh, and uh, uh, the kind of foods that you need to avoid, basically, are those foods that will irritate your bladder. And examples are coffee, ca coffee uh, alcohol, uh, fruits that rich in citrus, I mean citrus, citrus fruits, uh, tomatoes, uh, tomato based foods, artificial sweeteners, and spicy foods. Okay, just to quickly run through them again spicy foods, artificial sweeteners, citrus fruits, tomato based uh, foods, alcohol, and coffee. They could potentially, they, they have a potential of irritating your bladder. So, these are the kind of foods that you need to get off, uh, I mean, or reduce or cut completely from your diet. And the kind of foods that you might really want to focus on are the, you know, foods that will not irritate your bladder and uh, will also be able to provide you with the necessary nutrients that will go also a long way in helping fighting the disease. Uh, number one is pear fruits. Pears, uh, bananas, green beans and winter squashes, potatoes and uh, lean proteins, bread, especially whole grain bread, nuts and finally eggs. Okay, 
Now I remember a, a, health, a healthy balanced diet uh, that focuses on fresh and plant-based ingredients may help quicken recovery and also prevent other uh, recurring episodes with time. Now number six, you want us to look at cranberry juice and supplements. Now cranberry is a long-standing home remedy for treating urinary tract infections. Uh, there's uh, evidence that it may reduce the risk of the infection. Now cranberries contain a pro, a pro anthocyanine, uh, uh, cyanidins and uh, the PSCs which appear to help in preventing the bacteria from sticking to the lining of the walls of the urinary tract. Okay. Uh, amid concerns about the need to reduce antibiotic use, uh, recent guidelines have cautiously recommended cranberry as a preventive measure, uh, whether as a juice, as a capsule, or also or it can be taken as a tablet. Okay. Now, I remember it is best to, uh, to choose and sweeten a cranberry juice to avoid any extra added sugars uh, in your diet, which will also uh, might even irritate your, uh, your bladder and cause further damage and worsening of the already excruciating signs and symptoms. And number seven is uh, pain relief medications. Now remember the OTC medications, over-the-counter medications such as acetaminophen or paracetamol can help in providing relief. And remember a urinary tract infection can sometimes affect your kidneys. And if this happens, then a person should not take uh, the NSAIDs as they could cause uh, further damage. Now an individual is best speaking uh, to uh, a medical professional before uh, starting to take these pain relievers for urinary tract infection. Uh, in other words, don't just grab any pain relieving uh, med, uh, you know, drag out there and begin swallowing. You know, uh, some of them, especially the NSAIDs, might cause you know more harm than good, especially those of you that have got uh, issues with it. Uh, the kidneys have already been damaged, okay? Now, number eight, I want us to look at vitamin C. Now, some people use vitamin C uh, in to treat and also to prevent uh, the you know renal tract infections and vitamin C supports or uh, boosts up your immune system but research is also limited and has not shown that it can also help in treating it okay uh, but the good thing is it's able to boost or revamp up your immune system and put uh, all those immune immune cells uh, I mean the tissues the billion for size and all those uh, you know in your system that will help you in fighting uh, that infection okay and uh, for those who want to try vitamin C, the best way is to consume it. I mean, to consume it is through uh, food sources such as uh, the kiwi fruits, the broccoli, uh, the red and green peppers, uh, you know, and some foods also that are rich in vitamin C, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, number nine, I want us to talk about the demenos. Uh, demenos, and the demenos is a sugar that features naturally in fruits and vegetables such as the apples, cranberries, and the uh, the seaweed okay now it may stop bacteria from sticking to the cells in the urinary tract uh, infections according to research and a 2016 study found out uh, that it may help also in treating urinary tract uh, infection but more research has yet uh, to confirm this okay uh, demon nose is also available as a supplement in powder form but people should speak to their doctor before uh, they start are using uh, the demenos and number 10 and finally uh, we're going to talk about the lactobacillus now research in the past has shown that probiotics like lactobacillus may help in treating and preventing a urinary tract infection now current cl clinical trials at the moment are investigating whether applying a medical form of lactobacillus uh, to the vagina could help in preventing urinary tract infections however taking it uh, in the wrong form for the wrong type of bacteria may not be safe say uh, you know, this is what some scientists uh, say. Okay, now there are not yet uh, guidelines in place that would recommend probiotics in preventing or treating urinary tract infections, but research is also, I mean, it's very promising. All right, now, um other possible options that you can consider are some of the home uh, and natural remedies that you can use in preventing and treating urinary tract infections. Uh, I mean, uh, include the following uh, essential oils, okay, uh, baking soda, 
apple syrup vinegar uh you know we've talked about this show so many times in the past and if you've not yet watched any of our videos that talks uh, talks about apple syrup vinegar i believe there's a card up here that you can click and uh, you'll be directed please make sure you watch our previous videos and i believe you'll learn a lot all right uh by the time you're coming back to this one all right so thank you so much guys and uh, just to mention briefly some of the prevention tips and uh, remember preventing urinary tract infection is not always possible but some steps may help in minimizing i mean reducing that risk significantly and just to rush through them as a finish number one uh, after using the bathroom you should make sure that you wipe i mean from the front uh, to the back okay not from the back to the front especially the ladies here all right you wipe from the front to the back and number two, you tend to issue urinate after every sexual activity to help in expelling uh, the bacteria. Immediately after every sexual activity, you should make sure that you, you develop, a, develop a habit of urinating. I mean, uh, also uh, you should, uh, fully empty the bladder when urinating is very important, guys. When you, 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 you know, you're in the bathroom, you should make sure that you totally void, empty your bladder completely. All right, and then you should also consider some of the so another tip is taking showers instead of uh, a bath. Okay, this could also help you. Uh, you understand what I'm talking about. And you should also avoid using perfumed uh, intimate products. Uh, most of them have been uh, linked to uh, with uh, I mean causing urinary tract infections. And finally, you should avoid using barrier methods or bath control that needs permissional uh, low lows okay so thank you so much guys uh for your time uh i believe that some of you here that have not yet subscribed to this channel uh i want to ask you to just take a second there's a subscri subscription button below here make sure you click on it and become part of uh, the free real estate channel and uh, uh, i want to welcome you board those of you that have already been uh commenting and are just liking our videos giving us a thumbs up guys we really appreciate that we are putting in a lot of, of effort here uh you know our goal is to educate the public out there on some of the natural all available methods that will help them in treating your urinary tract infections and we also talk about cancer and generally all ailments here all diseases and uh, you know the western uh, methods of treatment and also uh, the, the, the the natural home uh, remedies that could also help you in mitigating the signs and symptoms of those diseases we've talked about cancers here we discussed prostate cancer we also talked about uh, colorectal cancer we talked about breast cancer we talked about lung cancer all right uh so I just want to invite you to just take some good time and go through our previous videos and uh, you'll be glad you did that. So thank you. Guys, you take good care of yourself and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.